guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about a very important subject and it's on how to prevent mouth odor yes this is actually a very very important topic you know why because i have this friend there was this guy that was approaching her she likes the guy the guy was very good looking you know tall handsome well to do but the very day the guy came and spoke to her she smelled odor from his mouth so for that reason alone she couldn't she couldn't she started to avoid him she started avoiding him because of course she couldn't really she couldn't stand the odor and she didn't want to be in a situation whereby she had to tell the guy that man you got you need to do something about your breath and all so what ended up happen, happening was she just cut off communication with the guy because man she couldn't stand the older thing so that's the reason why i came on here to like share this video with you guys because the truth is it's not only guys that suffer from having mouth odor even girls also have mouth odor and they don't even realize it so i'm going to be sharing with you all of the things you need to do to make sure that you can put an end to mouth odor so you never experience mouth odor ever again if it's something that you've been experiencing over the years definitely you need to actively work towards changing your habits it could be how you eat and you know you need to actively work towards changing your habits watch how you eat what you eat and the first thing i want to share with you that you need to start doing today is you need to start making sure that you brush your teeth your teeth at least twice daily you want to make sure that before you go out go out for the day you want to brush your teeth first thing in the morning once you wake up and after you have breakfast you also want to brush your teeth after you had breakfast then you can step out with a clean breath and take note when you brush your teeth you want to make sure you are using the best the, the very best toothpaste for your kind of teeth like for me i tend to have um issues in my teeth so the toothpaste i use is this etymol toothpaste right here and another issue i have with my when it comes to what's like my oral health is my tongue what well, growing up i tend to i <laughs> i think i always had ate food <laughs> when the food food is very hot or well, i think i also was always drinking very hot tea so my tongue tends to have lots of um spotting on it so in order for me to get my tongue to be the cleanest and look as pink as it should this toothpaste right here does the does the work for me so and it's also very good for somebody that has sensitive teeth so if you're someone that has um issues with having sensitive teeth and you also have um um damaged tongue like i do then i think you should invest in getting this etymol toothpaste and you want to always make sure that after eating you brush your teeth even if you just take a little of the toothpaste and just brush your tongue very well and wash your teeth drink water then that's rinse off your mouth and then drink water after you brush your teeth. Please just always make sure you do that so your breath can always be fresh and your mouth can always, you know, look nice. You don't want people to be looking because people it's pretty. Why you talk, people look into your mouth. So you want to be careful to make sure your teeth always your, your teeth, your mouth, everything looks clean and you don't have anything stuck in your teeth. You don't have you don't you don't you just don't want to look funny when you are talking. So always make the efforts to make sure you clean up your mouth very well. I think you want to make sure that you do frequently is you want to make sure that you're always flossing. You want if I thought you can't even brush let's say you go out and unfortunately because you're out you have to eat something and you can't um brush immediately you want to make sure you always have dental floss in your pockets so you can easily go to the restroom and flush your teeth or if there's no restroom around you can just put your hand like this and use the dental floss to really get into the corners of your teeth and flush your teeth very well and take out whatever um meat or whatever thing that is trapped in between your teeth so your teeth is very clean you don't want the situation whereby you leave pieces of meat in your teeth for days for months and it has decayed in there and it starts to smell because the thing is the reason why most people tend to have mouth odor is because they have things stuck in between their teeth that they haven't taken out so you want to make sure you're always flossing your teeth whenever i go to see my dentist there's something he always emphasizes that please always make sure you floss your teeth and the last time i even went to do like a, my dental went for my dental checkup one thing he told me was that I don't even need to do scaling and polishing because my teeth is actually in good condition. The thing that I, the last time I went for dental, the last time I went for scaling and polishing was sometime around like, um, was it the middle of, like around July last year. So I went again in January of this year. Was it January or December? I think somewhere around December or January. And he told me I didn't even need the scaling and polishing, but I just still did it. So you want to always make sure you have 
flossing your teeth because if you don't flush your teeth well you'd have things stuck in between and that would that is what that is the number one cause of mouth odor so always make sure you're flossing removing all those things in between your teeth on the inside like just go in between your teeth and really take out whatever dirt you have there so invest in having dental floss and always make sure it's always with you wherever you go so another thing you also want to make sure you're doing is after you brush your teeth you also want to invest in getting um mouthwash you can use this list um listerine mouthwash to just gargle and really shake it all over your mouth to make sure you kill whatever bacteria that might still be in your mouth and make sure that your mouth your your mouth is like your oral health is actually in good condition so another thing i want to also mention is i noticed that some people when they brush their teeth they always forget to brush the upper part of their teeth, this area right here. So you, we just, so, so, so they just totally forget that oh, there's actually teeth there that needs to be scrubbed. So when you're brushing your teeth, you want to always make sure that you're brushing your teeth up and down, up and down, all the sides of your teeth, up and down, up and down. Even on the inner areas, you also want to do up and down, up and down, up and down. On this front part, to up and down, you want to really make sure you brush those that your teeth very well. So it's very clean. That's basically the tips I have to share for you in this video on how to improve your oral health. And um, if you have questions, <laughs> if you <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, please let me know in the comment section. If you're going to implement any of these tips, make sure you smash the like button. You might not want to leave a comment for me, but just make sure you smash the like button. You can leave a thank you in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Remember, be bold, have courage, live a positive life, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>